got some National Guitar Museum footage of the legendary Rock Ock, an eight-necked electric guitar that requires just as many musicians to play it. But that is hardly the largest instrument on old planet Earth. Let's explore more. <laughs> There are a number of epic instruments vying for the title of world's largest instrument. Bill Close's Earth Harp, seen here performing at Burning Man, stands a staggering four stories tall. And the Reverend Dr. Mark Temperato's epic drum kit really shakes the pillars of heaven. You can bask in the glory of South Korea's 18-foot traditional Chonggo drum, or fabric sculptor Gary Greenwood's 20-foot windform horn, which looks suspiciously like the great big electro hucarnio fluke. But to find the true largest musical instrument on Earth, you have have to actually venture under the earth into the Luray Caverns of Virginia. Behold the great stalactite organ. This curious hybrid of human engineering and naturally occurring cave acoustics boasts a fascinating history. Mathematician Leland W. Sprinkle conceived the idea for the organ after his son banged his head on a stalactite and it rung with a pleasant sound. By 1954, his mad vision had become a reality. While a traditional pipe organ makes sound by driving pressurized air through keyboard selected pipes, the great stalactite Type organs keyboard is wired to soft rubber mallets that gently strike stalactites of varying length and thickness to achieve the desired tone. But since Sprinkle was dealing with natural formations to create this precise musical scale, he had to choose stalactites covering a whopping 3.5 acres of cave terrain. Play a note on this decidedly Phantom of the Opera-esque keyboard, and the notes ring out throughout the subterranean landscape. Luray Caverns has offered albums of stalactite music for years, and in 2011, the finished Swedish music collective Pepe Deluxe became the first artist to write and record an original composition on the Great Cave Organ. In fact, here's a taste of the track In the Cave right here. Now, if you're going to be picky, you might try to disqualify the great stalactite organ due to its vast use of naturally occurring structures. But in this, the instrument ties into the fascinating field of archaeoacoustics, which studies sound from an archaeological context. When they look at structures such as Mexico's Chichen Itza or the cave paintings of France's Lascaux Caves, they study the way sound carries through and around the site and contemplate how these sounds may have factored into the art, architecture, and worldview of the ancient people's responsible. Archaeoacoustics researchers like Stephen Waller contend that our ancestors reacted in awe to the thunderous or ethereal nature of cave sounds, using this soundscape as a springboard for their artistic creations. And the great stalagpipe organ proves that modern humans can certainly relate. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. Around 1698, he began working on the first piano forte which today is known as the piano. That song was one of the first dastardly tunes to be used for ill will by the internet. But how else has humanity used music as a weapon? When he wasn't happy with the volume of his acoustic guitar, he just invented a new one. Les Paul invented a solid body electric guitar in 1941. 